What's up YouTube and welcome to another episode of The Struggle is Real. We got off on a bad start in Division 9, losing 7-2. I need 10 points in order to get promoted to Division 8 or 13 points if I want to win the Division 9 title. I'm going to start by showing you that the team that I am using contains packed players and you can tell by looking at the bot for section. If it says first owner, it means I packed that player. Otherwise, it would say how much I bought him for. After doing some squat maintenance, I jump into my first game. My opponent has some really high rated players in Cavani, Mueller, PK, and De Gea. So it is already going to be super hard for me. I'm very confident in my abilities and I know I'll, I'll at least give him a hard time. Looking at those stats, you can see that the game went in my favor, right? Right? Wrong! I mean, look at that. I lost 3-0 while having more possession and more shots than my opponent. The reason was because my players have low finishing stats versus his high finishing stats. Don't believe me? Look for yourself. Here's an opportunity maybe. The goalkeeper can hang on to that. Oh, what the fuck is this? Now look at his chances. These are the types of games that make you want to rip your hair out when you outplay your opponent and all the luck goes to him instead. But enough of that. I still have to accept the fact that I lost and I must move on. For the second game, I came across the super strong Liga BBVA team. I mean, Inform Rodriguez, Benzema, Neymar, seeing this after coming off of a crushing loss is even more demoralizing. Especially when this happens. I mean, really EA? It's bad enough that he has a super expensive team. You don't need to rub it in by magically giving him a goal. Let him earn it, dammit! There's not too much to say about this game. It was the same as the other game. I was getting my chances, but my players suck so bad they can't score on an open goal when the ball is crossing the line. Kinda like this guy. I need to start packing some better players soon before I go nuts. What I'm planning on doing is buy all the packs I can afford at the end of each season and hopefully get at least a player or two that will improve my team. Also, I am thinking of changing the way I present the episodes for you. Starting next episode, I'm going to change it up a bit. I'm still not sure exactly what I'm going to do, but one thing is for sure is that if I continue to make these episodes like this, it's going to take forever and FIFA 16 will be out before I even reach Division 6. So I'm going to speed it up by showing you the lineup I faced, the final match stats, and the goal highlights. Hopefully I can fit 6-7 games per episode rather than the usual two I've been doing. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget, I broadcast this series on Twitch. Link to my channel is in the description. Until next time, bye bye